internet. It's me, Mel Buttle. I am thrilled to be joining you for six minutes of power live at 6 p.m. Here from the Zebra Lounge at Trades Hall, I'm joined by three fantastic guests who are all doing shows here at Trades Hall. We have Michael Schaefer, Adam Knox, and Alex Ward. So I'm going to start with you, Michael. How's the festival been going? It's been going great. It's been going for six months now, and I think eventually we'll be able to stop. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you, you, you having fun? Yeah, I actually am having fun, despite what I just said. No, it's really fun. This is a cool place as well. They've got a, this is the Zebra Lounge in uh, Trades Hall, and they, uh, they've got drinks and stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm having a good time. I believe you. <laughs> uh, Noxie, yes. how, how's the run going for you? It's been alright, yeah. I'm, I'm not feeling sick. I haven't lost my voice. I am worried about saying these things in case I jinx myself now, but I, I'm feeling good so far. Great. It's been fine. It's weird how our expectations, like, I want a five-star review, I want an award, just get down to, I don't want to lose my voice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm waking up and I'm not thinking of jumping out of the window next to my bed. Oh, good. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. And Wardy, Alex Ward, tell me about your run so far. Is it going great, guys? Uh, so far, it's going surprisingly good. Um, unexpectedly good, actually. I've been very happy. And also, my goal this year was to not eat a sushi roll over a bin on my way to the venue. So I haven't done that yet. Either. Good girl. Yeah, eating at tables. <laughs> You've really turned your life around. Yeah, I'm very proud. That's why it's unexpectedly good. I've great. Done it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to run through a little inside the actors' studio style quiz with you guys to, to take the viewers behind the scenes of comedy. So uh, this is this will just start off the dis discussion, and this is a juicy one. Do you guys read reviews, Michael? Definitely. I think comedians say they don't. How do percent you read reviews? Who doesn't read reviews? Well, I'm reading other people's reviews. Well, well, well that's what I meant. Yes, I mean, like, I just want to make sure the people I don't like are getting bad reviews, and the people I do like are getting great reviews. That's what I do. Okay. And have you have you had a review yet? Yeah, I've had a few, which has been, and uh, actually, I don't usually see the review first. I usually get, like, my mum will send it to me. My mum will just Googles my name uh, and Michael Schaefer review every day, and then she'll just send me a list of, of what she finds every day. It's good to have her <laughs> in your social media corner. Um, Noxie, are you yeah. a review reader? I decided not to this year and forgot that I'd set up an automatic email notification oh. thing for any of them, and I can't remember how to turn it off. So I am <laughs> now re I wanted to stop ever, like three years ago, one of the, like, the Herald Sun sports writer came and reviewed me, and he went, like, the show is good, but he seems like a nerd. He literally was just like, oh, yeah. well, a bit of a dork, not into him. Yeah, it's true. Um, Alex Ward, any reviews so far this year? Will you read them if they come out? Um, I'm not from Melbourne, actually. I didn't invite any reviewers. I've read last year. I read two reviews. Uh, the first one was really good, and the mm -hmm. second one not as good. And it was a roller coaster. So this year, <laughs> if a review, uh, the funny tongue guy came, yep, um, yep, he gave me four stars, but he also stayed and had a chat for 20 minutes. So I thought. Come on, one star for the chat. That's an extra star. Yeah, I should have probably gotten that fifth star because you're really I good at chatting. That's you're, that you're freestyling. You're you're great chat. I, I enjoy chatting. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I got a I got a review for this show in Adelaide, but it was very fresh. He he still liked it, even though it wasn't. He said not for him. He you know great young liberal and maybe just not on on in line with my style. But he mm. said not bad. <laughs> Well, it's good to be personally attacked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what job would you guys uh, take on other than comedy if there was a gun to your head and you can't ever do comedy again? Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> what profession would you like to attempt? Michael. Well, I was meant to be a lawyer before I did this, and I gave all that away. So I'd probably, uh, I'd probably have to be a lawyer out of, just to make the family proud of me. So you, you have the degree? I got the degree, and I'm actually a, a, technically I am a lawyer. So technically, I could I could do law stuff, but I really don't want to ever have to do that. Come to the show, and then I don't have to be a lawyer. That's that's my pitch. Very good. Wow, a lawyer. Um, Adam Knox. <laughs> I'd, I'm going to be working in like a mine or something. I don't have any degree <laughs> to be a lawyer. I, I, I don't know what I'd do. I host a video game podcast. <laughs> Who's the nerd now, Harold? <laughs> but I um I do that as a day job at the moment, or the equivalent of. I could do this, maybe. This is fun. You could work at JB Hi-Fi, so don't talk yourself down either. True. Yeah. This is a lot more difficult than you make it look like. That really wears out your arm. Yeah, that is tiring. Yeah. That is tiring. Um, Wardy, what would you do if you couldn't be a comedian? Um, I'd like to do something outdoorsy. I hope it would pay, like gardening. I just want to be one of those people that works at a garden centre, because they seem really happy. Oh, they seem so relaxed. I know okay. it feels like that in here right now. Yeah. So this is from maybe what's inspired me. But um, mm. maybe a garden centre. Otherwise, I'll just be a teacher, because I can do it, I believe. 
Is your mum a teacher? Uh, no, but my auntie and all my cousins. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, sen- I'm John Edwards. I'm the- sensing <laughs> teaching from your family. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a crossing real, over. A real deputy vibe. Mm, mm. Yeah, the deputies. What would you teach? Uh, not math. Uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, drama, improv. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I'd actually teach ge- uh, geography. Okay, cool. Mention all that fauna and flora. Good on you. Yeah, yeah. All right. We have to do the news now. Thank you. I want to thank all of our guests while I've got you here. Thank you for coming on 6 at 6. I need to whiz through a little bit of comedy festival news. So if you could just sit awkwardly while I do that, that'd be great. Uh, so tune in once again to the Melbourne Comedy Festival Facebook page at 7 o'clock. There's a half hour live show coming to you uh, from Trades Hall. Also, there's a party here on Monday for pass holders. If you want to come along and check that out, pass holders only. And of course, tonight, Festival Club. It's a comedy bonanza followed by the Lip Sync Battle. My name is Mel Battle. Thank you for tuning in to 6 at 6. Good night.